Happy New Year! It's January 2nd, I'm Emily Walsh. And I'm Alex Mahanavan, here to report the daily headlines. A tow truck driver was stabbed during the New Year's Eve celebration downtown. While tow truck driver Joshua Paul Wren, 28, was preparing to tow a car that was illegally parked on State Street, he was stabbed in the back by the suspect, James Cooper, 44. Cooper, who is homeless, may have ingested an incense that has been linked to several recent assaults nationally, according to Police Chief Bernadette DePino. After arresting Cooper, officers found 10 packages of incense not intended for human consumption. Police plan to test the incense to determine if it is similar to incense involved in recent cases. As of Tuesday, Wren remained in the hospital in non-life-threatening condition, according to police spokesperson Captain Paul Sutton. For more, visit yourobserver.com. Siesta Key residents have sent 15 emails to county commissioners protesting variance requests for two lots. Sarasota County Commissioners have responded to at least 15 emails from Siesta Key residents who are opposed to construction on two Beach Road lots. The lots are located west of the Terrace Condominium Complex. The County Commission will hold a public meeting January 9th to consider requests to build four-story homes with pools on the properties, which lie seaward of state and county lines that regulate construction. Construction on each lot would affect more than 4,000 square feet of dune vegetation. The variance request seekers have offered to remove invasive species from other dune areas and plant about 800 square feet of new vegetation. For more, visit yourobserver.com. The Florida Department of Transportation began work this week on area bridges. Florida Department of Transportation crews will be working from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. this week to perform routine maintenance on New Pass Bridge and the Ringling Bridge. Also this week, crews will replace worn traffic markings on Gulf of Mexico Drive between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. None of the work is expected to cause traffic delays. The Kiwanis Club of Longbow Key is seeking Citizen of the Year nominees. The award will be presented at the Longbow Key Kiwanis Foundation 3rd Annual Valentine's Ball. The ball will be held on Valentine's Day at the Longbow Key Club and Resort's Harborside Dining Room. Submissions are due by January 20th and must include the nominee's name and a summary of why the individual should be considered for the Citizen of the Year Award. Tickets to the event are $95 per person or $10 for $1,000. Proceeds benefit the Kiwanis Club Foundation's local scholarship fund. For details on how to submit nominations or how to buy a ticket, visit yourobserver.com. That's all for today's daily headlines. For more community and breaking news, go online to yourobserver.com daily. And pick up a copy of the Longboat and East County Observer Wednesday and the Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday. You. Your neighbors. Your, your neighborhood. neighborhood.